Now in this particular video, we will discuss about the query extender control. Basically, this query extender control gives some extension to the data sources. As if any data source already has some records inside it, so I can simply start filtering the records by using query extender without putting the where clause in the base select statement. So this query extender will give you the added advantage of sort of filtering the data at runtime. So let's have the implementation of this query extender control. So before starting with the implementation of query extender, first of all, I will take link to SQL class, which I have already taken and you can see now for getting the data here, I will use link data source from the data control. So here it is link data source. Let's configure this data source with the data class is already chosen and here only one table is being brought out of which I'll take employee ID, first name, mobile number and department. Let's say salary as well and say finish. Now to display the data, I'll use grid view. These things are already being done several times in this video tutorial. And now uh, since the data will be shown in grid view, let's execute it and see first. So as you can see, all the records from the table are being displayed here. Now what I want is I'll take a text box in which I'll start writing any name and according to that, I want to show the data in the grid view without making any changes in the link data source. So here I have already taken this text box and let's say the query extender control from the data controls. So here I got this did query extender and now let's come to the source for configuring this query extender. So here inside I'll use the search expression for making the search operation and I'll perform this search operation in this link data source. So here the name is link data source one. Here I'll come in the query extender and will say target control ID is equal to link data source one. And now inside this, I'll have to say data field as you may have multiple data fields here. Like you can see employee ID, first name, mobile number, department and salary. Here I want to make a search as per the first name. So first name is the data field on which I want to pass this searching and search type. Here if you will choose contains means the particular string from the text box could be anywhere in the first name. If you say starts with or end with the particular string which you will enter in the text box must be started or end with the first name. So here I'll say contains so that it could be anywhere throughout the name and inside this I'll take a control parameter in which I'll pass the control ID let's say text box one which I have already taken right here. Alright so let's execute it once again and see how this query extender is working. So now as you can see by default complete records have been shown. If I will enter anything like A, you see now all the records out here have A somewhere in the name. If I will say A N then you see all the records are having A N somewhere alright. Similarly if I will write A L then you see A L in Pallavi and Vishal is there. So this is how I said like it contains means anywhere it could be like here it is getting started with this. So it is taking it that if you remove everything from the text box and so you will see like again all the records have been shown. So this is how you can use the query extender for searching purpose without making any changes in the actual data source.